Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between the external and internal innate immune systems. Uh, so first off, the innate immune system are all of the defenses that are present at birth. So we do not need to develop the innate immune system. Uh, these are all of the ways that the different systems of the body protect the body. So each system has many different mechanisms that it uses to protect us from infection and injury. Uh, it acts against all microbes in exactly the same way. And because of that, uh, the, the innate immune system is also referred to as the nonspecific immune system, general and inborn immune system. Uh, so how do we know if our protective functions are external or internal? So part of the external defenses or the internal defenses. Uh, so the external defenses are the first line of defense against pathogens uh, so the body is trying to keep pathogens out of the body or trying to keep them from ever entering the internal environment of the body in the first place. Internal defenses are the second line of defense against pathogens. So that's if a pathogen gets through our external defenses and now it is inside of our internal environment of the body, that's when our internal defenses kick in to try to destroy that pathogen. So how do we know if a defense is internal or external? In some cases, it's really obvious. So like skin, that's an external defense. So that's really obvious. That is a defense of the body to keep pathogens from entering. Where it gets a little bit tricky is when it comes to the tracts of the body. So like the digestive tract, the urinary tract, reproductive tract, um, respiratory tract. So when it comes to our tracts, that's where it's a little bit trickier. Um, that's because the inside of the tract is still considered to be the outside of the body. So it's still considered to be the external environment. I like to use this donut as a good way to illustrate this point. So if we take our digestive tract, for example, the digestive tract is a series of tubes that goes all the way from the mouth to the anus. So it's one long tube uh, that is open to the outside environment on both ends. Everything contained inside of that tube is still considered to be part of the external environment. So it is not internal to the body until something is absorbed from that digestive tract. It goes through the wall of whatever organ, you know, small intestine, large intestine, whatever it is, goes through that wall and is taken up into the blood and lymph. Now it is considered the internal environment of the body. So if we look at the donut, this is a good way to kind of picture it. As long as you're touching the outside of the donut, that is the external environment. That even counts, even if you touch in the hole of the donut, as long as you're not sticking your finger into the actual bready part of the donut, you're still external to the internal environment of the donut, right? And so your digestive tract is exactly the same. Um, so the whole inside part of the digestive tract is sort of like the hole of the donut that unless you actually stick your finger into the bready part, it's still outside of the donut. And so until something is absorbed through the tract, it's still in the external environment of the body. That's why all of the tracts are lined with mucous membranes. Mucous membrane is an external defense. Um, so it's lining all of the all of the tracts because the tracts are all open to the outside environment. The digestive tract is open on both ends but the respiratory, urinary tract, and reproductive tracts are all only open on one end. In any case, it's still open to the outside environment, so the inside of that tube is still considered the outside environment. And that's why mucous membrane is one of our many external defenses. Now, once a pathogen makes it through those barriers and it is now in the internal environment of the body, that's where our internal defenses like fever and inflammation, for example, will take over. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.